Okay, another safety tip from Martin Safety Solutions today. We're talking about the differences in non-permit required confined spaces and permit required confined spaces. We're mainly going to talk about non-permit today. Uh, a non-permit space is a space that with regard to the atmosphere and hazards, you don't have any. Uh, of course, you're going to assess that space for any hazards or the potential for any hazards. That's very important. And also, your engineering team may have looked at that space. They may have rerouted uh, energy sources, uh, you, and the atmosphere is great, and you can make an entry even, hopefully, without PPE because it's a non-permit required confined space, which means it's not hazardous in any way, versus a permit required confined space where you have the signage, you have atmospheric testing and monitoring continually, there's potential hazards or there, there are hazards. Hopefully we have in those permit spaces, we have uh, harnessed those hazards and made them safe. We've done lockout, tag out, we've, and so forth and so on. But with a non-permit, we don't have a, a hazard. We don't have any potential to have a hazard. Uh, try to make your confined spaces non-permit, which means you're probably going to need your engineering team to look at it and try to uh, uh, get rid of any energy sources and anything else that could be hazardous or potentially hazardous. And don't forget, when in any uh, confined space, be sure to ventilate. That's our tip today from Martin Safety Solutions. You be safe out there.